fellow soul raptor jesus back with another episode of the workshop and now we're on uh we're working on our world anvil campaign portion and so i had to change my map <laughs> i realized it wasn't really gonna work with how world anvil set up but that's all right i kind of know where everything is so if, what we're doing here is we're gonna put in all the waterways and the reason I say I kind of messed up is because World Anvil, each of these little sections, I can make an article for it. And so I can actually name this lake. And so I have to go through and, and name all these. Yes, it's a very... And then we can go into each of these descriptions we write. And we can create an article for it, which I think is really handy. It'll really help the players uh, understand the terrain like a native would instead of a, a tourist like we all are when we first start a campaign. <laughs> think about Wolf Lake. I named it Wolf Lake just because there's a wolf there. <laughs> you know, names don't are kind of funny that way. We don't really put a lot of stock in the naming things fantastical like they do in various fantasy settings especially out here in old America and I imagine that a lot of these places were named by uh, scouts and mountain men and explorers that came before the the various influx of civilians yeah, I hate that every time you you save it reverts back to the normal, so... Especially when you're trying to do things in a little piecemeals like I am. And retracing all of the, the various uh, waterways and such that I already had set up. Sometimes I don't really get them uh, accurate to how they were, unfortunately. <laughs> Not sure what to call this one just yet. I'm actually referencing a printout I had to make of my original map. <laughs> so I figure this episode I'll just do the waterways. Or at least the lakes. I'm not sure about the rivers yet. I'm not sure what to call them. Trying to figure out how I, the transparency, I want it a little bit transparent, kind of gives it a u unusual look depending on where the lake, where I place the lake. So this one looks a little, you know, forested and such. Yeah, I want all the lakes to actually have the, the same transparency numbers. I'm OCD like that, fellas. Deal with it. <laughs> Old Iron Lake. And I try to write at least a sentence for each of these locations. And again, just like in the previous episode where I recommend you don't have to fill out everything and you don't have to write paragraphs of information just yet. Because it'll come to you as you start uh, working on your campaign, you start adding things. And then you can change it, you know, You're like, oh, I don't, I don't like this name. Or I have three iron lakes because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Excuse me, fellas.
how to take a swig of my old trusty grape Kool-Aid. The drink of the gods, fellas. <laughs> I thought I'd name this after one of my kind of favorite westerns, is Quigley Down Under. Old cowboy going to old Australia and living the cowboy life. Living by the code of the west, far, far out of his home. <laughs> Great movie, you guys should check it out if, if you want a good western. That's not quite set in the west. Yeah, and this swamp definitely has a a nice, uh, good-sized lake. And we're at a scale where each of these hexes equal eight miles, so this is kind of a huge body of water, if you think about it. Probably a bit unrealistic, but eh, who cares? It's my game. You can fight me if you don't like it. <laughs> bit of mystery to this one you know, just because my game isn't really supernatural doesn't mean people aren't superstitious in this world you know you can add some supernatural elements to your Western very lightly so it's not too overwhelming so it doesn't become a weird game and it's just that one unique weird thing that happens and, you know, the world is awfully strange and we can't really understand and contemplate a lot of the mysteries of this earth. So it's good to have a little bit of mystery. I just don't want to overwhelming my campaign setting with magic and, and all of that stuff. The Dawn Lake, this is a good place to catch that, like, rising sun, you know. I really wouldn't know the, the science behind all that. It takes on a shimmering look, so that's what I said. <laughs> I'm sure someone down in the comments could probably, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm always willing to be proven wrong, fellas. Just as long as you're not a dick about it. <laughs> so if you guys remember to like and subscribe and Hit that notification bell. It really helps me out in the hour room. All right, fellas. Helps my channel grow, which is growing pretty good. So thanks for all the new viewers and and welcome to my, the madness. You know, <laughs> you always gotta have a a Romeo and Juliet story. I think. I think it's handy for your game. So I hope you fellows had a good time, all right? All right, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellows. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, all right?